Well, we are in downtown Raleigh, North Carolina. It's a beautiful Saturday afternoon. And we are next to this church, this Baptist church, uh, just, built in 1859. Is it just called First Baptist Church? I guess so. Yeah. It's really pretty though. Look at, Truly, all, look at the windows and the steeple, it's amazing. Yeah, it's quite beautiful. It's real nice here. There's no wind and it's probably about 60 degrees. Uh, we are across the street from the state capitol, which is right there. We're going to go in. But a uh, little information on Raleigh before we go. People who come here say it's like living in a forest. And it's so true because there are trees lining the streets everywhere. Um, I'm showing you footage right now. And uh, yeah, it really is. It's like living in a forest. All right, we're outside of the North Carolina. Uh-oh. We're outside of the North Carolina State Capitol. You can see these fine gentlemen. Pope, Jackson, and Johnson. Andrew Johnson. Interesting. And of course, here is the North Carolina State Capitol. And we're going to go inside and check it out. We're inside the North Carolina State Capitol now, and I've read a lot about this statue. And uh, it's cool to actually see it. This is George Washington, our first president, in a Roman toga. Obviously, this is the rotunda. And as you can see up, it's real pretty in here. And we'll be going up on those floors pretty soon. But of course, this showstopper is <laughs> Washington in a kimono. So this is a note that dates to 1838 and it details payment for labor during the construction of this building and it is written to Mr. Thompson it says will you be so good as to receive my Negro's wages at the Capitol so unsurprisingly slavery uh, slaves were used to build this uh, building all right so are you out of the main rotunda, we're going to head upstairs. You said I'm not good. Yeah. <laughs> so up here on the second floor now. And as you can see, there's that famous George Washington below us. Did you see anything in there? So apparently Lillian Exum Clement was the first woman to practice law in North Carolina. And when? I believe so. 1920. 1920. She defeated two male opponents in the primary election. <laughs> What's go, the matter with those go, guys? You go Lillian. Go Lillian. <laughs> those guys were she's losers. She's pretty too. Huh? She's pretty too. Yeah. She's a looker. <laughs> and I guess this is where uh, all that business was conducted, huh? And this is Abraham Galloway, born into slavery in 1837, 1857, escaped to Canada, returned to Carolina 1862, became a Union spy. In 1868 was elected to two consecutive terms in the North Carolina Senate, and he died unexpectedly at the age of 33. So this is a guy that got a lot done in his short life. So here is a picture of the original Capitol building that burned down in 1831. Ironically, it burned down while being fireproofed. And here are some of the bricks and a key left over. All right, we're going to head up to the third floor. Hmm. Well, what does that door go to? <laughs> Little door tucked in the corner of the stairs here. Anyway, up to the third floor we go. See what's up here. So we're in the room where the state geologist operated in 1860. And I guess they have what samples of all the rocks and everything mm -hmm. in the state. Okay, so North Carolina State Museum of Natural Science. I think that's where we're going. I knew it wasn't natural history. It's natural yeah. science. Yeah, not natural history. Sorry. I knew, well, I knew it sounded wrong. I just couldn't. 
remember exactly what it was. Well, this um, this museum is supposedly amazing, so let's go check it out. Yeah, I believe this is a whale. It's definitely a f sea creature of some sort. See the little flappers there. It's big, really big. So a shot of a pelican underwater catching fish. That's pretty cool. Circle of life. So this is a skeleton of a sperm whale. Yeah, this is pretty cool that this museum is free, you know? Huh? This is pretty cool that this is free. Okay, long nose gar. Lives under the rivers of North Carolina. Common snapping turtle, huh? How's that? That's cool looking. Lives in the rivers and swamps of North Carolina. It's not that common, I've never seen him. This is Miss Kagawa. She is a friendship doll given to North Carolina by Japan in 1928. All right, animals of the mountain stream. Well, we're heading to the third floor now. I think there's some dinosaurs up here amber with an actual insect in it. Fascinating. See if you can see it in there. This shell is two million years old. What did you say about poop? Capillites are, huh? fo capillites are fossilized excrement. That's fossilized poop then? Mm-hmm. Apparently so. Amazing. <laughs> it's an actual head, huh? It's covered in something, but... Stick your head in there, I dare you. Stick your head in there, I dare you. You're a chicken. Chicken! <laughs> the Pachycephalosaur. And this big one is a Hadrosaur. Looking over its eggs. This is the skeleton of a Thesiolosaurus, an actual skeleton found in South Dakota. So this is the skeleton of a giant ground sloth. Wow. <laughs> what is it? A giant ground sloth. A giant ground sloth. Sloth, S-L-O-T-H. Look at the, look at its legs and feet. What a beast, huh? Can you imagine seeing that thing? Here, let me get you in front of it so you can see the size. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Prehistoric man. Next to the dinosaurs. What do you think? <laughs> Nothing. So this is a plural sealess. He's big, huh? Here, let me get you standing next to him. Yeah. This is an Acrocanthosaurus. So Acro and T-Rex would have never fought each other. They did not live in the same reason or the same time period. They just look similar. Hmm. Now he looks like he's straight out of a horror movie, huh? Yeah, he yeah, does. Look how big he is. <laughs> Give you an idea, go stand up in front of me. Yeah, see? Giant cave roach. Man, they've got a feast here. Look at all that food. <laughs> Is it cucumbers, orange? Mm -hmm. Smoky brown cockroach. Research laboratory, huh? Saturday, so obviously they're not here. Glow. Some of these fish have been genetically modified. Can you tell which are natural, which are not? Zebrafish or silverfish with dark stripes. Genetic engineers use genes from coral and jellyfish to give them the fluorescent colors you see here. Well, it was a nice afternoon visiting the North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences. And the best part was it was free, huh? It was free. It was a really nice museum. It was free. It was free. It seems like in other cities they would have charged like $20 to get in there. They definitely would have charged $20 or more. 
and, it, and it's nice because it's right here in downtown Raleigh. There's another church. Oh, that's the church we saw earlier, say, isn't it? This is the first one we saw. Yeah, because there's the Capitol. That's the first Baptist, right? Anyway, we're going to, uh, well, the sun is getting ready to set, so the day is over for us. We're going to head back to the hotel. Okay, our time in Raleigh, North Carolina is finished. Uh, overall, I like the town. A lot of traffic. But it was cool to go downtown and actually go see museums and the Capitol. And it was free. I mean, how many... Even, even no park... No, there was no charge for parking either. Even free parking down there. How often do you get that Very in rarely. downtown areas? Very or rarely. Any state museum is free. So... You know, kudos to Raleigh and North Carolina for that. That being said, we're at the hotel, and the hotel we didn't fare as well. We're at the Comfort Inn, mid, uh, Midtown, so it's really near downtown, about three miles uh, away from downtown. And this Comfort Inn didn't live up to what the others do normally. Yeah. I'll let you go first, though. Yeah, you see, Comfort Inn is usually like a chain that we like, probably mm -hmm. only second to the jury. However, this one wasn't didn't yeah like you said it didn't live up to it first of all i've never in my life been in any hotel room or a motel room for that matter that doesn't have a microwave no freaking microwave no microwave in here and because we're, we're on the road we buy like soups and raviolis and stuff like that because we can't afford to eat out every night so we just throw it in the microwave no microwave mm -hmm. no microwave in the room i like literally that just blows my mind there's a microwave downstairs and we're on the fifth floor yes. so for us because we can't afford to eat out every night. We carry food, soups, and microwave stuffs to eat, and uh, we have to get on, get out, go down five floors, use the one microwave in the building, and then walk it back upstairs, and it's very inconvenient. And like she said, it's the first hotel we've ever stayed at that doesn't have a microwave in the room. In my entire life. It's got a refrigerator, but no microwave. How stupid is that? Anyway. So that, that bothers me, like, immensely. Now, it was clean, so that's, like, my one big thing. It did have a gym. Gym was kind of tiny. At least it had the full set of weights. So I mean, I got in my, my workout quite yeah. well. So I can't really complain about the gym. It was small, but whatever. Um, basically, it's the microwave thing. And uh, oh, the breakfast. At the other Comfort Inns, they had fresh eggs. This one has those microwave-looking omelet thingies mm -hmm. again, which I didn't even touch. I just ate some pastries. Yeah. So oh, and the OJ was gross. The OJ tasted the like OJ was horrible. Powdered. Yeah. yeah, that's what it tasted like. I don't know. It was weird. So, yeah, I didn't like it that much. Yeah, she's right. The hotel still clean. is clean. It's nice. That part of it's nice. It's in a really nice wooded area. Really nice yeah, neighborhood. Yeah, the grounds are pretty. All the trees. Yeah, the grounds are beautiful. The, the staff, especially the girl checking us in, was a little rude. Uh, we acted. She acted like we were putting her out or interrupting her when we were trying to check in. Check in. Whatever. But um, yes, the gym is nice. There's a good pool here, even though we can't get in it. It's closed for the winter. Uh, the breakfast was mediocre, at best. At best. I mean, it had uh, microwave. Yeah, the microwave uh, omelets and the tasteless sausage. It had some oatmeal you can make yourself or uh, cereal that you can make yourself. It had pastries and bagels and, and muffins. So I mean, terrible breakfast and comfort in. But if you like eggs and sausage, you're screwed. And there were no potatoes, remember? Yeah, no potatoes. Comfort ends are usually way better than that. And the other thing I didn't like is the room. This room is not near as nice as most comfort ends. If you stay at a comfort inn, you got like a separate living section, like a little separate living room. Yeah. This one doesn't have it. This one is much smaller. Yeah, so this comfort inn... And it was more expensive than the other comfort inns we've been to. And this was even expensive. We paid extra money to be close to downtown Raleigh because we didn't want to be, do a bunch of driving. For the money, I was very disappointed. Yeah, so that's our complaining about it. What's your rating? <laughs> 3.8. I don't even know if I'm going to give it a 3.8. Yeah, it did have strong Wi-Fi. Let me put that in, by the way. But I'm, I'm going to go like 3.3. 3, so. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Well, that's uh, our thoughts on the Comfort Inn in uh, mid... But Raleigh itself is nice, so that's not right. that, you know, we don't need to slam on Raleigh. Yeah, Raleigh itself was nice, but the Comfort Inn midtown Raleigh, meh, <laughs> maybe stay somewhere else. Anyway, we're heading to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina next. That's where I went for senior week. And that was like last year. <laughs> there you go. And uh, so be looking out for that video. We'll see you then. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.